Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Like a Strange 2. Here we are. Well, this is a- well actually, fuck, this is actually the finale episode. Um, <laughs> I should start off by saying that, you know, but um, oh well. Um, here we are, chapter 5. Let's get this done. I'm still sick, which kind of sucks, but I am feeling a bit better. So hopefully it shouldn't detract too much. Oh yeah, weren't we on the hike with Karen or something? Oh yeah, we're gonna head out. No. So that's we have to leave again. I think I'm kind of scared. Mm. Oh, honey. Uh what are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to to help you. Mm. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm going to give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mm. Mom, we'll go to jail for helping us not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Mm. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. You took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. Nobody could ask for a better brother. Or son. Okay. This is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And right. don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Um, mm. You should go see David. He has something for you. Aww. Okay. Whew. Oh wow, oh that's a lot of money. Okay. Whew. We're gonna be ready, that's for sure. Well, yeah, let's write first. Hmm. Hey mom, I know you're better with words than me, but still, here it goes. It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different.
Please don't give up on your freedom. Okay? What's the best thing you've taught us? We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Hmm. Thank you so much. Love. Sean. Aww. That's really great. Oh, and it's just its own little note. That's kind of interesting, because, like, we've always, like, ended up receiving so many notes. And now we're the one writing the note in the final chapter. Leave as is. Ooh, that affected the story one way or another. Okay, let's go say hi to David. Wait, can we say hi to Stanley and Arthur? Are they even out there? Eh, let's see. Yeah, let's just start with David, honestly. We already said hi to him earlier, so. I should go see what David wants now. Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. Hmm. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. <laughs> I'm on it. I'll join you when I'm done. Hmm. Hmm. They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Huh. Wait, yeah, so because one of, I can't tell okay, so wait. They look cool. It's Max and Chloe. I'm guessing Cause it's been a while since like I've actually watched a playthrough of Life is Strange, so I'm guessing Chloe and then Max. Is there anything in here? Oh wait, here we go. Must be his wife. Aww. Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Yeah, I mean, of course, there's Chloe right there. Look. Okay. Oh, well. Would that be classified as like a, a mandolin? This place or something? has too many adults. Or is it? Because I know there are certain like instruments that look like guitars, but they're classified as something else. So, um, is there not a letter from like Chloe and Max? That sucks. Yep, David is ready for that apocalypse. <laughs> All the ravioli. Whatever. Oh, How does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only gotta search between 140 and 160. Climate hoax. Oh my gosh. The conspiracy theorist. Another hit from the backwoods on dusty rocks, Nope. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Thanks, David. He nice. Was he was a real like stickler for the rules in the first game, if I remember correctly. 
just being like, ah, you kids not following the law. So it's interesting seeing the development since then. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. <laughs> Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <laughs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. Sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. You only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just. Honest. Yeah. I know, Dave. It's Thanks. like, it's really bizarre because it's just like throughout their journey, they've yeah. had like so many people Absolutely. helping them. Like so many people they've shown, they've shown kindness to them. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane. Now, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. Mm. We lost everyone else. Jeez. Sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away, never to look back, while I was trying to rebuild. So, why did you come here in the end? I had to. Arcadia Bay would have been my grave. Mm. I met Steve. He owns the house behind Stanley and Arthur's. He'd lost relatives in the storm, too. So I was in a really bad shape. We became friends. And he told me about this place. How I could start fresh here. He was right. And I know that moving on is a tough process. No matter the situation. Sean. I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner than later. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I might turn myself in after I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open. Think about it. Mm -hmm. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. 
So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. <laughs> hey, sweetie. What's up? I mean, that's a lot to process. I mean, personally, like, I don't think when they've, when it comes down to everything, that they've really done anything wrong. Because, like, they've just been trying to live, like, an honest living and try and, like, make it. And I've just been trying to, like, keep them as lawful as I can, I guess. But, you know, things come up here and there that complicate things, so. You'll be fine. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Uh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. Yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be too. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Mm. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Did you guys ever go to Mexico together? Hmm. We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard, but he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. Mm. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over. If we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. That's true. He wants to be equals. And you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out. Like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. Alright. Mm. I'll make one last round before we end. Yeah. Let's see. Because we can still talk to Stanley and Arthur, so we might as well. Hi, and we'll say I'd join as hey, well. Hey, guys. I came by to say adios. We're... <laughs> Taking off today. No, you're not. <laughs> really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Yeah, but it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. No, no. Oh, these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? <laughs> we'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay, I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. 
I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Oh, the hugs! Not for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Oh, the adopted dads. Damn. I love that. Oh. oh, gonna make me cry, game. No, it's not allowed. Where is Joy? Hey, what's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. <clears throat> so, what do you think? Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you do. <laughs> Good, that makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, <laughs> you and Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Aww. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was <laughs> the sweetest thing. She sure likes to say sweet a lot. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. Ooh. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> oh, your name is on a way bigger sculpture everyone to see that's true i didn't think about that yeah your uh. brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside <laughs> wicked okay one big hug and get out of here before we all start crying like babies oh that's okay thank you it's good to cry join for everything just please take care of yourself and my special apprentice <laughs> no worries we always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. <laughs> oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. Mm. <sighs> I miss you so much. Anyone else we got? I think that's pretty much gonna be it, right? I mean, that's kind of funny, because, like, he literally was just like, Okay, I have a little bit more time, and I'm like, sure, and then we just leave immediately afterwards. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I think we're ready. Wait, let's see if we have anything in the notebook first. What do you... When did he find the time to do all this? We are do crimes. Cool to hang out with jo Joanne for a bit. Crimes? Wait, is that a um, Night in the Woods reference? Crimes? The last night away. Hmm. That's interesting. Ah, all right. Let's hit the road. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So. Did you get to say goodbye to Uwe? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inanna. Come here. Mom. I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both. And what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Mm. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Ooh. Oh, of course I'm gonna hug Karen. 
Thanks, Mom, for being oh. there. Thanks for letting me, son. Ooh, I love this. Let's hit the road. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, everyone's seeing us off. Don't do this to me, game. Take care, boys. Stay safe. Something wrong? We're almost there, okay? That's the last time I have to say that. I don't <laughs> care about that. So, what's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Forever. We can live like kings, dude. A dollar goes a long way there. We don't need much. Yeah, right. So who am I gonna play with? What do I do for fun? He's gonna make friends. <laughs> back to school. Come on. You can make friends when you go back to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or... Do anything if I can't talk. I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. <laughs> we fit in everywhere we go. That's and true. We'll get to hang out too. Um. Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel, I get scared too. You know. We'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. Oh. Don't worry, bro. I got you. Yeah, it's really interesting because I've heard a lot of people like bash on the game for being like, oh, it doesn't st stay very consistent. Like, you just meet new characters every chapter and then you just discard the old ones and everything. But honestly, it's it's kind of part of the beauty. Like, I've heard to describe that just this is like part of being on the open road where it's just you get to meet a bunch of people. Like, some stay with you, some leave you. It just really depends. So it's just like it's nice to just get to hang out with these two for like the entire time. Is this his first driving lesson? That's pretty funny.
Oof. Okay. You know, I never knew how much Dad, Trump actually... Looks so big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. Why do you gotta get on now? Just, like, keep going and get Daniel to, like, open up on the way there. Oh... The raid? Uh, hey. Sean? Why would they build this? Well... You know... It's a border, man. It's because of fear. Is there a wall like this? Up north? Nah... Not really. So... Why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trash, or Hopefully what? not. I'm sure it is. We'll clean up. Whatever. That's a good project for us. Right? Let's do so, this. Here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. Probably a lot to get through because I imagine metal is a tougher material than most other things. Dude, it's hard. I can't. It's all right. Take your time. Stay. Ooh. Oh, it's bending. I'm with you, Daniel. <laughs> wait, couldn't they just fly over the wall? Why do they need to destroy part of it? Oh, wait, no. They need to get the car through. Never mind. I mean, he could fly with the car, maybe. To uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. <laughs> we did it. <gasps> we fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> Whew. It's all thanks to you. It's gonna be alright now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh man! Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean! Yeah. You alright? Whoa, <laughs> these legs! Walk to the beach. <sighs> Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some choker crisp. It'll be we so do need to restart. <gasps> Daniel! Daniel, that looked like it grazed him, but Daniel, I don't know. Talk to me. Uh oh. No. Where'd that hit him? Please, not now. Daniel. Hey, who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, oh. Oh 
shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Uh. Daniel! Bruh. So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! We're going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Who are you? You're not border agents. Uh, we're citizens. We serve our country. Oh, these people. I saw a documentary about it. Where it's just like a guy who like stays with like this. It's not the border patrol, but it's like people who like kind of guard the border with like a bunch of guns and everything. And just like patrol around to see if like there any if there's anyone trying to cross it's really kind of disturbing in, in a way uh... listen it's a long story but we really are trying to get out of here you can fucking skateboard across the border 10 miles away so tell me the plan that was not us we have no idea how it happened hey, don't fuck with us kid you're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. <sighs> Stop bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. D don't move. Shoot. What, what the fuck? Oh damn. Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal, you know. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening <coughs> anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. Fuck! How old is he? He's all uh, right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegal! Fuck's sake! What I say? I mean, illegal shit or not, like, okay. the fucking kids, you know, so. Which the whole illegal thing is so dumb, anyways. You okay now? What? I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? Uh oh. <laughs> You're under arrest. Oh, fuck. I mean, I knew we were in deep, but we're, we're back with the feds, I guess, so that's bad. Fourth of July. Hmm. Hello, strangers. Okay. This has been. See. Si. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es uh, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. <laughs> soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron cerca del muro. 
Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Mm, tranquilo, amigo. Que no hacen daño a los niños. Ok. We have a lot to Hold look at, no so... I, I mean, a lot just happened, so... Coming back. Ugh, this place is oh, shoot. Rough. Oh, I can't speak to anyone now? Okay. Uh, let's, let's see what's Seriously. up with these guys. Why are you doing this? What's your problem? Doing what? You shot my ten-year-old brother! It was a mistake. It's just a graze. This is just a flesh wound. Oh, you don't have to talk to him, Dad. <laughs> you know, usually it's the parent <laughs> that's the worst one, but in this case, it's the daughter. Oh my gosh. I wonder how long they've been here. And why? Apoyate aquí si quieres. Tranquilo, amor. No soy de porcelana. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad... Queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí. Nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No pudimos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos podido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Uh -huh. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo mm. sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. <coughs> ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Tuve suerte que mi padre trabajaba duro, que fuimos bien integrados. Lo comprendí cuando murió. Cuando me quedé solo. Lo siento mucho, hijo. No eres extranjero. Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh shit. Enough now. It's America. You can't stop us. We speak English. We're just mm -hmm. talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. You're so, you're in jail too. Here to work. No, not steal or live at your at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. <laughs> and we have to pay for your welfare. Oh, go complain. And that makes me sick. I mean, immigrants did build the country. Like, have you seen Hamilton? Immigrants built this country. Where did the... 
founding fathers come from, huh? No, no, no. That was different. <laughs> oh, that was different. Belongs. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. A honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite <laughs> have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. Well, this is uh, what do I do? I probably should calm him. Like, I, his anger is 100% justified. But... Ugh. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Maybe not escalate it. Our okay. Siéntate, Dio. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tiene razón, amor. No vale nada. Whether you people lack it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. <laughs> Was he just asleep? Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it. Okay? <laughs> oh! Right. Diaz, That's like the fucking up. best roast I've heard brother, a police officer Don't worry use. about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay, let's move it. Oh, is this gonna be an interrogation? Okay, we're probably gonna want to comply right. and tell the truth then, actually. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. Mm. You want coffee? Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Be right back. It's pretty friendly, actually. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope <laughs> he's alright. Of course not. Hmm. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Dang. No objectives, nothing in our pocket. I haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? Mm. No point in getting these off. I already looked at that. Oops. <laughs> There are cops everywhere. Is that the vigilante? Or Madison, whoever her name is. So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? <laughs> yeah, she just won't stop. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. This is taking a while, though. I'm just like, come on, bro, where's where's the coffee, you know? There we go, is that? Yeah, yeah there we go, cool. Wait. Bro, where's the coffee? 
Oh, there it is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There you go. It looks like you need it. <laughs> Thanks. That's fair. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Watch is like laced with truth serum or something. Seriously? Yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. Oh. Uh. At least it'll keep me up. Yeah, I probably have a lot in my file, don't I? Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. Huh? It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. He doesn't seem too antagonistic Killing to me that about Killing officer it. in Seattle. Vandalizing a motel room. Okay, well that's not- okay, Found whatever. A, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. <laughs> oh. It's quite a weird, ends up a weird right record. The ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. No, oh, not her. <laughs> away now. Okay. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. Hmm. She says a lot. She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. Okay. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. <laughs> But you're facing a I know shitload he, of he'd love to do with ours. At least he'll get a life. Oh. Uh, what I don't get mm -hmm. is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Uh, I'm not gonna say we're super villains. Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but. Oh, it Sean, you sound awful at lying. Can't explain it. Uh huh. Listen, once is an accident, twice is luck, three times is enemy action. Whoa! Mm -hmm. What is that? Sir? I don't think you should keep your ass in that seat. Okay. Oh. Oh, Sean. You okay? How do you feel? I I'm okay. Just What happened to his shirt? Hold on. They probably Oh, they had to cut it open just the wound. Got to go. Hold up. Is he okay? Is he okay? I wanted to rescue you, but I, I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Is he? Or are you just lying to him? Wait, can I let them out? Who are these people? Well, help. Carla and Diego. He came all the way from Mech. 
Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Well, oh, can we lock them out? Yeah. He's up for the count. Okay. Okay, hands oh, up. Shit. Oh, uh oh. Hands up. Shoot. Hands up. Do not move. Wait, Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Oh, crap. Okay, um. Mug. Gotta find something. The mug, dude. We got multiple officers down. What the fuck? Now. They're dangerous. Uh. Go. We will shoot if we need to. Understand? What's going on? Yeah, let's not kill them. Okay, what the fuck? Do not move. Don't do anything stupid, kid. I'm scared. This is our. Put him in there. Now. Okay. Uh. Uh. You're the man. Ooh. Now let's move. I just realized if any of the monsters in Monsters Inc. were ever like Daniel's monster, they would be fucking horrified. Like honestly, that's probably where Monsters Inc. started from, or there or started from like the fear of like them actually being scared of children. Step back. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, but be quick. They must really feel threatened <clears throat> to put so much effort into this. Yeah. And they have a rifle. After this, you're not gonna hunt shit anymore. <laughs> it's in their bag, anyways. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Okay. Got all our stuff now. Let's do this. Central. There's probably more of them coming. Let's go. Okay, yeah. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate. Ooh. Take it out, Daniel. Oh, could we not have helped the other people? Time to go. Don't want to go. I'm gonna go back to that same spot. I bet because it's probably gonna be heavily guarded. Forward of entry. No, nobody is chasing us. Not yet. For July. Sean. Symbolizing freedom. It's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. Hmm. You're right. Remember how he was sowing the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early. So we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. Hmm. He said he was proud to live in this country. Yeah, that's the beauty of it, because no matter how many flaws like America has, and I'd I'd still want to keep fighting to like see if we can do something about those flaws it's still a beautiful country honestly because well less of like the whole of it itself but just like the people you encounter in it like 
like especially the people that really helped like Sean and Daniel on their journey like those kinds of people is really what made Shit. the country special oh dang wait how'd they open up further wait that's some quick construction work then or wait is that the same spot or no that has to be a different spot what are we I feel gonna like. do? shot. I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you and Anna, just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together, but you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise you. And here we go. <sighs> which which do we pick? I mean, I always knew we'd come to this decision. Because, I mean, like, I, I think I said it from the beginning. I know I know what happens in this game, essentially. And I knew that it would just come down to this ultimatum. <laughs> it's funny. It's just like... I mean, I knew I, I, I would get here. It's just... It's weird to actually be at the spot where I can actually pick. We're giving a better life for him, We're giving up our own life. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Hi. I think their story ends right here. Here? But I, I could. I get it. It's not who we are. Exactly. We're not criminals. We're just kids. And we still have time to choose. What life we want to live. You're my brother. And I love you. I... I love you too, Sean. It's gonna be alright. Promise. You promise? 
for real this time? I do. We're doing the right thing. Just... Try and remember what I taught you. I mean... Only the good shit. <laughs> I will. I swear. I'm sorry about all this. We're gonna look after your brother. That's my word. Let's hope we'd actually be able to get a lawyer with all this. But like, no, with how the, oh, yeah, yeah. How he's the, gonna be fine. Daniel, you're not a little wolf anymore. Never forget who you are. Never. So what happens next? Hmm. So he moves back in with Claire and Steven. Oh, is it just gonna tell us through like a picture album? It takes a year for them to actually meet up again. Oh wow, in his graduation? Oh, is that David? Is that Chris probably as well? Maybe. I don't know, they're keeping some things vague. Oh, he's a barista, okay. Yeah, this is kind of interesting to just see all of that. Twenty thirty three. I mean, that's really far in the future. Fifteen years after the events at the border. Karen's looking a bit older. He's all grown up.
He is a man. I wish they could have gotten some voice actors to actually play the older versions of them, but... Uh -oh. oh, Lila... That was her name, right? I'm not getting it wrong. <laughs> Wait, so if Claire and Steven were there, does that mean they've already, like, passed on, honestly? Because they'd probably be there to greet Sean as well. Unless they just didn't have the opportunity. He's got the glass eye. It's pretty cool. Pretty dope. Everything from the first chapter. Oh, they're hanging out under the same rock, too. So this means that Daniel's in, like, his probably mid to late 20s, and then Sean's in his, like, early 30s? That's insane. explain where that came from anyways. It's interesting.
And that's it, I think, right? Is there any other post credit scene that I'm missing? Oh yeah, well here we go, here's the credits and everything. Let's see. Decided to surrender, and Daniel accepted. Oh, and Daniel refused. Oh yeah, so here's the thing. I know this about the endings. Like, you can surrender, and Daniel will just plow right through anyways, and you can also force it, and Daniel can, like, do that, and he can also deny that as well. Or all you taught Daniel to do is best to follow the rules of society. Hmm, right. interesting. Ooh, okay. Oh, and here's all this stuff. Okay. In the fair treasure hunt and found the hidden souvenir. Overall got closer to Karen. We wrote a caring note to Karen. Insulating note to Karen. <laughs> you said farewell to Arthur and Stanley. You said farewell to Joanne. You hugged Karen before leaving. Aw, oh, 97%. That makes me happy. You intervened to calm Diego in the cells. You didn't open the- Aw, oh, dang it! I d see, I did- I, I thought there was a way I could do that, but I just- Okay. Whatever. Ross Daniel to take revenge on the vigilantes who didn't hurt the vigilantes. Ross Daniel to kill off. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm glad that didn't happen. Daniel was told off about the scorpion. Stop messing with it. Was told off. Oh, but kept messing with it. You may just set up Joanne's sculpture with your help. Okay. Concerned about hurting officer. Oh, that's also interesting as well. He was like, oh, I didn't mean to hurt him. Wasn't asked the free to Vigilantes. Oops. <laughs> well. Didn't have to lash out at the Vigilantes. So how did that ha happen anyways? I'm confused. I'm leaving. Lock the, up the officers in a the closet. There we go. I mean, because the officers got too close. Okay. Wasn't asked to kill the officers. Okay. That works. Thanks for playing and following Sean and Daniel on their journey. We made it, guys. <sighs> okay. So, now I have to give all of my thoughts. Oof. What is there to say? There's just so much to bring up. Um, choices. I did all this. Oh yeah, I mean the fucking vision test. I, I don't think I want to look at that. Let's see. The documents. That's cool. I can read all the stuff about Brody. Because I didn't get to really get a chance before. Because I was focused. Or I was like worried that I would like skip over it. Birthday baby bro. Aw. Missing not forgotten. That's cool. What's Sonic? Oh no, that was the hot dog man. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I overall, I really love this game. Like, it may not be like absolutely perfect or anything. And I'm okay with that. Like, whenever I go into games, I'm never like, oh, this has to be the absolute best game or whatever. Like, I always go into it like with the same approach that I go into like a movie or a TV show where it's just like I'm just here to like get a good experience out of that, out of it. And if it can do that, then that's pretty solid. Like I don't, I don't ask for too much when it comes to these kinds of things. I know other people do, and that's perfectly fine. I'm also one who can give constructive criticism, but it's like a thing where I'd rather like wait until like I'm actually, I guess, like what writing a paper on it to actually do so or something. So, yeah. Overall, like. <sighs> I don't know if there would be anything in particular I'd really want to change about the game, because a lot of it boils down to, the, like, I guess the core principles about it. I guess something that would be nice would just be, like, understanding a little bit more about where Daniel's powers came from, rather than the just they just showed up one day. Unless it's meant to be more symbolic of something else, maybe, where it's just, like, he's just different, and that's, like, something that, like, we just gotta accept. Like, and that, that's also, that's good symbolism, if that's the case, if that's the message they're trying to bring to it. It's just with the previous game they also like kind of left that alone answer but at least with that game they still gave a consequence to the choice and whatever whereas with daniel it was harder to see the consequence since like we weren't controlling him or anything like that so we didn't know if there would be any repercussions for him even though there were repercussions for us 
So, eh, I, I guess in some ways it does balance out, but just like we take the fall for it, if even though Daniel does not. So, in, in a way we kind of do, but yeah, like, eh, it's interesting though. Still, um, I don't know what else th there is really to say about it. Um, if I had to give a chapter ranking, um, let me see. That's, or, I mean, episode ranking, I guess that's what it would be called. Um, I would say... I mean, I'm probably biased, but I'd probably put Wolves pretty high. <laughs> <coughs> like, I think it wrapped it up really nicely. It kind of finished what it wanted to do from the start. So that was pretty good. And I really liked Away. Away was a really solid place where it just you have David, you have the gay couple, you have Joanne. Like you have all these great characters coming together in this one little nice little place. Um Faith explored some interesting ideas. I don't know if I'd rank that one too highly. But it was still a really solid chapter. Um I also liked Sean's conversations with Jake. I think it was just a really solid, like, solo chapter for Sean. That's what I really enjoyed about it. Wastelands, it was also just good to see Sean and Daniel, like, separate from each other. Like, and kind of grow on their own and get a chance to see, like, what it's like with them not really interacting as much. Well, I mean, as compared to, like, Faith, when you don't see, like, Daniel at all. But, like, really good to see these two, like, um... Like, what happens when they're away from each other and doing their own thing. It's really interesting. Rules is one I... I mean, it's mostly the Claire and Stephen part that I really like. Just because, like, I obviously, like, relate a lot to my own grandparents who I really love. <laughs> so, I, I'm probably a little bit biased there. I mean, mostly Stephen I just, like, love. He's just a genuinely, like, really nice grandfather character. And I wish we'd have more grandparents in video games and everything, because, you know, all of them are really great. Um, Rhodes is a good place where it just really sets up the story. Um, I guess it, I guess the way to summarize each chapter is Rhodes is just, like, the, I guess the catalyst for the entire thing. Rules kind of, like, sets up a lot of, um, Sean, I, it, it really especially sets up Sh Sean and Daniel's dynamic and really sets them up as characters. Wasteland explores them each other, like, or, oh my gosh, Wasteland explores both of them, but, like, separated, kind of, in their own way, and, uh, Faith is just for, like, uh, Sean alone, essentially, and then Wolves just, like, them coming back together and trying to, well, um, pff, I, I don't know how to phrase it, but just, uh, trying to do what they set out to do, I guess. That's the easiest way to put it. But... I don't know. See, I like them all for different reasons, though. That's the issue. Like, it's so hard to just, like, put them into a box without... But if I had to say, I'd probably... I put rules really high, honestly. I really love rules. I have some new respect for Wastelands. I played it. Faith I don't like as much just because I played it when I was sick honestly and honestly it just kind of it dragged in parts it was still pretty solid but it, it was mm. so I guess I'd probably go um and I'm not saying I hate any of these chapters I I don't even have like too much of a strong dislike it's just like more of a preference thing um I guess from least favorite to most favorite I'd probably go Faith Wastelands, Roads, Wolves, and then Rules, honestly. That's, that seems to be a pretty solid list. I might retcon that and change in the future, but that's what where I stand right now. And I feel pretty solid about that. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want me to play any more of the Life of Strange games in the future, please let me know. I actually have not played True Colors, so um, that would be something that I could actually go into blind <laughs> playing. Because, like, I, I know what happens in the first game as well as before the story. I mean, I knew what would happen in this game coming into it, but I decided to do it anyways. A, for class, and B, just because I just kind of missed... Just kind of making videos without having to actually stream stuff, you know? It, it's just kind of nice, because it's just kind of freeing in a way where I can just commentate and I don't have to be constantly entertaining the chat or anything. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the series, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!